Say good morning, Lucy. Hey, guess what? It is Mother's Day. I have no makeup on. It's early in the morning and I don't know, I probably will not put makeup on today because we're staying home. We went out for dinner yesterday. Um, and you know what? I took Harry for the first time to that Shady Maple and there were two doors. They have two front doors and the lines from both of them were so long that when we came in the parking lot, we just zipped right back out of there. So we went to Good and Plenty and that was very nice and very enjoyable. And I'm using a new camera because Harry got me a new camera for Mother's Day. And I'm still going to use my old one, you know, here and there when I need to. This was the old camera that I was using. It's a Nikon. And it's actually a nice camera. But look at that. When I was at Disney World um, in January, we were over at uh, Britain, Carly and I. We were in one of the shops where they had the tea. And um, I dropped my camera. And um, when I was filming, sometimes... I would turn it on and without looking to see if it was clear, I would just start filming like normal. But when I play it back, the footage was um, blurry and you probably noticed when you'd watch my videos, some of the segments were very sharp and clear like normal and then some of them were blurry and that's why. And um, because it was footage that I wanted to use in the, in the you know, vlogs. Um, obviously I had to keep it. I couldn't redo it because you can only capture moments as they're happening. So anyway, um, I told Harry I wanted a new camera. So he got me the Sony and I really like it. Let's see. So Harry got me the camera and he got me some beautiful roses over here. Got some red roses. And then, uh, Brian, he just walked in the door a little while ago and he got me these flowers. Very pretty. And then I got a lot of Mother's Day cards. I got that one from my aunt. That one's from my mom. This one was from Brian. This one was from Adam. This one was from Josiah. This one is from Harry. And I don't know if Carly's got one for me because she's still in bed. It's just 10 o'clock, so she's sleeping in. So, anyway, um, yeah, that's what I've gotten for Mother's Day. And, whoops, we have some pies here from um, Good and Plenty we brought home yesterday. And I have some bread in the freezer. I got this bread too. What else to tell you what's been going on? We had rain all last week. That's why I, the last video, it was just snippets of the day because, you know, nothing was really going on. Um, couldn't go outside and do anything. And pretty basically, you know, that's all I did while I was, you know, home was just piddling around and cleaning and throwing stuff out, rearranging stuff. For example, um, my lazy Susan here. I cleaned all that out. Look at that. It was such a mess. A big old mess. So I cleaned both of the layers there. You know, just different things like that. That's what, that's what I was doing. Just rearranging drawers and cabinets and things that I needed to throw away. Threw stuff out. and That was about it. But anyway, look at Mr. Sunshine has returned. It's going to be nice today. It's going to be nice tomorrow. It's going to be nice Tuesday. And then guess what? For the rest of the week, the rain comes back. So we didn't get hardly any rain in April. So, you know, April showers bring May flowers. Unfortunately, May showers will bring June flowers. It's a beautiful Mother's Day morning. I decided to come out because I'm enjoying the sun. We have not seen sunshine, like I said, in a week. And it's nice. It's very breezy. But it's a nice breeze because it's actually warm out. And I even put makeup on. I figured I might as well. Hear the birds. Everything's blooming so nice. The leaves finally out on everything. And my wigellas. They've got their little flowers. 
There's a bumblebee over there. We've had so much rain. Want to see the grass? Everything's so green. Harry actually cut this. Uh, when did he cut it? Friday. We got a break in between the rain. That's your Mickey Mouse? Is that your Mickey Mouse? Yeah. <laughs> You're funny. So, we didn't really film today. It's Monday. And um, we didn't really film because Alex um, was just playing today. He took his nap. And uh, Joe is home. He doesn't feel good. Adam is off today, too. And um, after I was done cleaning this morning, it was a laundry cleaning day. So I did that all morning. So I didn't film. And um, we spent the afternoon watching a movie. And now it's 4.39. And I am making um, dinner. We're having fried corn. I just cut it off of the cob. And put my iron skillet and then I got chicken parm down there which is almost done and down here I'm roasting eggplant which I think that needs to be turned up a little bit no we can't touch that we can't touch that he's trying to grab every single thing that he can I think I'm gonna have to put this up because you can touch it now No, we don't want to touch it. It's just pretty to look at. Say, it's just pretty to look at. Are you going to try very hard to grab that? No, no, no. <laughs> no, Bubby's going to have to go put this away now. We gotta go put it away. No, you can't have it because it will go fall down and it will break. Say no, no. Say no, no. What did I do with it? I put it up so you don't break it. <laughs> That's the newest thing you just keep doing. You're funny. Okay, come on. We're going outside for a moment while the sun is still shining because I need to um, look at all my flower pots and I need to go to the flower beds looking at the perennials to see what I need to get. I have my list here, because I'm gonna get ready to go to Lowe's now. So, this perennial and this grass came back. I just need to trim some of the, you know, dead part of these squiggly grasses away. And that is a perennial, it came back. So that has pretty, I think, red flowers. Um, I think I had something small that was in there. So, I don't know, I'll see. So, let's see, I have one, Two, three, four, five, five, six, seven. So I have seven small ones in the back. And the large, this is a perennial. This came back. These were, I think, like, you know, some of those um, cascading petunias or something so I might get something for in here but I have one two 
three. Three big pots. So I'm going to say three and a half. Three and a half. Because I want to put something in. Uh, that one over there. In the back. And then I have a hanging plant there. So I need to write this down too. Hanging plant. Okay. Oh, and then I don't know if I'm going to put something in here or if I'll just buy something that's already potted. I don't know. I'll have to see. Okay, so we need to come out here to the garden and we need to see um, what we need to do here. Okay, this is my hydrangea, which I need to trim that up. I used to have a strawberry patch in there, and um, I took them all out because we have bunnies that live under our shed every year, and they come and they eat all of our strawberries. So there's no point in having that. So when I get all of this mulched, I'm just going to have this bed mulched over here. Um, so all of this will be mulched in here. My grapes are coming back. Okay, but my grape vine is getting bigger and bushier because, you know, this is um, the second year now, I think. No, third year. So it'll be, you know, coming out here. I'm not going to get something here for the corner. Um, I need something here, something there. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let me space this evenly. Let me just come down here. So that's a grape too. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. All right, so fourteen perennials for back here. And we still haven't um, come out here to burn any of this because we've had all this rain and in the meantime look at all the weeds and I even came out here and sprayed weeds and look at this it's just it's horrible okay these perennials have come back that one's come back I had one in here I need to get something in here I need to get something shaded um, I'm thinking maybe here and here I'm gonna get two ferns I'm gonna write that down all right, I got two ferns because I can get some shaded ferns to grow here. My grass is coming back. I didn't think this was going to come back, but it is, and so is this. Um, that needs to be pulled. I had these salvias all in here, and two of them died. So I'm going to get um, two more for in here. And the rest of that can just be mulched. So two. So if I know what I'm going to get, I'll just write it down. And then out here, let's see. See, all of this is going to have to be mulched in here. All in here. Uh, two, wait a minute, three, and I have this one, um, there, four, that I put over there, so, I have four for the front. And then I have one, two, two of the big ones for the front. And then I need to get something. I was going to get something to plant in there, but you know, every year these grasses get fuller. I don't know if I'm going to get something for there. I don't want to get too crowded. I could always just get a flower pot of something and put something there. I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay. 
I'm all sweaty. I gotta go in and get a, sh get a shower but before I do that and ending my day here, though it's only right around three o'clock, I'm gonna show you what I've done and what I still need to do. So, for here I wanna get um, another citronella uh, plant. I have one for over here. And um, that way when we're sitting out in the evening, hopefully that will deter mosquitoes from being around. And I've watered everything, so um, there's that pot there. That was a perennial that came back. There's this pot here. And of course everything will look lovely if the sun ever decides to come back out. Uh, this is extra potting soil. I'm going to hang on to that because I still have um, a little bit more planting to do. And there's this pot there. This pot here. And I got all that washed off. And this is um, lavender. And then these were just extra little things that I got to like fill in. But I didn't have anywhere to fill in. So, <laughs> um, there's those pots there, like that. And then this one down here. And this is a hanging plant that I bought. Isn't this pretty? I got this over at Lowe's. And it's got the beads on it. And my wigellas, the flowers are opening up there. So I'll go out to the garden and I will show you uh, the garden. Okay, so I have another rosemary. Every time I plant a rosemary or basil, they don't ever come back. Well, basils, I don't think, come back. Um, oregano does, but rosemary's supposed to come back. I don't know what's going on there, but I put another one there anyway. We're not going to look inside the garden. I think I've already showed you that. That's all going to get taken care of, but all the perennials all the way down. Um, so obviously when we get that guy to come here, we're going to have him mulch all of this and he levels everything out he cleans everything out too so anyway all new perennials in here i can't wait now to get the mulch and then it'll be looking a lot nicer than this another kitty one in back one in front okay so here's what we did and then we're ready for all of this to get mulched so I put one fern here, and I was going to put one on the other side. Brian started digging, and the tree roots are really bad. He barely got a hole dug right here. So um, I'm kind of wondering why those salvias I had planted here, maybe that's why they didn't live, because the tree roots are really bad in here. So I don't know. We will see. Um, I put the other fern right over there, and I cleaned all this up a little bit. We have that there, those there. And like I was saying, um, I have to get more rock. I'm going to wait and let that guy come first and edge everything nicely. And then I will fill it in with the rock. And then all of this, he'll fill this in with uh, the mulch. And then um, I will take you now to the front porch. Okay, so I planted... Oop, I got to pick that bucket up there. I have that pot and that pot... And I'm not worried about the residue because it's going to get covered with mulch. So I got to throw this out though. I have this there. I was going to put that over in there, but I think I'm going to get a fountain for over here. I'm going to get a fountain for the front and the back. And then um, I couldn't do anything with this because I ran out of flowers, but I got to drill a hole in there anyway so the water can drain. And then there's that. And there's this one. And then I have this pot here. And this is another citronella. And this still. I'll have to rearrange all of this. I gotta get a flower pot for this, a nice one, so it's not just that. And I will probably keep this, you know, down somewhere over there. Okay, so that's it. Um, we need to clean up a little bit in here. And then I will get uh, flowers for over there. So, anyhow, it'll be nice when I have a fountain there too. Oh, look at my kitties came out. So, anyhow, um, that's what that looks like so far. 
So I will see you guys. I will see you guys next video. Bye.